everybody it is about 10 40 in the morning and i'm just going to show you guys what i have to do with layla today so we're just going to be spending a day in the life with me as a dog mom um i have a few things that i need to do with her so i thought i would take you guys along um i am going to take her to get some exercise so i'll probably take her to the dog park she has a vet appointment at 2 45 today and then um, I need to get her some meal mixers for her food just to like entice her to eat more. Um, and you know, she loves the Stella and Chewy meal mixers, so we need to go pick some of those up. And yeah, we'll just show you what else we do. Um, but those are the main things that we have to do today. So well, we already start the day off being bad. Layla, Layla, why are you at my table? Get down. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Already a ball of energy. I've been thinking that I can't let you go. Hey, can you hear that? Why? Why we're holding back? I don't know. I guess I'm all confused about you. Hey guys, so we just made it to Bark Park and Layla's getting nervous because she thinks I'm about to leave her in the car. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you only the things that we bring. So I bring her a tennis ball. They also have like these little, this little library for sticks so you can like play with the stick and then put it back when you're done while you're there. I also got her a water bottle so I'm going to fill her, um, fill this one up. I need to empty this out. So I can put her fresh water in here. This is her um, portable water bottle, it's just in case she gets thirsty. I think I've showed this on my channel before, but this is what the water bottle looks like. You just push this button down and tilt it out so the water comes out. And then you, if you want to put it back in, you can just um, pull put the water back in and then lock it by pushing it up but down releases the water and up locks it so it doesn't like spill out or anything so yeah just got that in her tennis ball and then we are ready to go
guys, so we're back home now and Layla is like so exhausted, which is really good. There was so many dogs there. Like that's the most dogs we've ever seen at that dog park. Um, so she had a really good time. She was actually very social with all of them, which was really good. Yeah, when we get home, I just like to use these wipes. I got these from TJ Maxx um, or Home Goods, either one. Um, but they are 120 wipes. They are made for dogs, paws, or anywhere on them. And they are in baby powder. They're super absorbent and antibacterial. So this is kind of what they look like. But I highly recommend getting your dog some... Excuse you. I highly recommend getting your dog some wipes because once they come back from walks or whatever, their paws are just super dirty. So in order to, for them to keep the germs and stuff out, then get some of these babies. You tired, mamas? You want to take a nap? You going to take a nappy nap? Hmm? You take a nappy nap? You tired? Tired? Go take a nap in your kennel. So you can go to sleep. You ready to go to sleep? Want a nappy nap? <laughs> yeah? You sleepy? You sleepy, my angel girl? <laughs> yeah. I know. Alright you guys, me and Layla just woke up from a nap. Yeah, hello. <laughs> we just woke up from a nap and she needs to go to the vet, so we're gonna head out. Gonna put her harness back on. Yeah, she's just gonna get her annual uh, checkup or whatever they call it, physical exam. Um, needs to get rabies shot, new vaccines um, for the year, stuff like that. So nothing crazy, but yeah, we gotta go take you to the doctor, mama. Is ready to go? Huh? You ready to go? Yeah. Hey, come here. There you go. There you go. Come on, my miss. Come on. There you go. Sit. Sit down. Sit. Good girl. No. Sit. Stay. Stay. Good girl. Go wait for the doctor to come in. That's a good girl. You stay away from the doctor, okay? The doctor's coming, okay? They're gonna take good care of you. Mm, I like you. Get a piece of chicken when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps looking at it. And her lungs are nice and clear. <laughs> okay, good. Right, I'm gonna peek at your friend in here, okay? all right you guys so we just left the vet she did so good um i'm just gonna tell you what we did today so this was her annual examination so she got a new rabies tag she got her rabies vaccination she got her D-A-L-P-P -P vaccination. I forget what that is, so I'm gonna have to like put it on the screen so you guys can see. Um, they got, she got the Bordetella and the Parasite screen. And we got, oh, we got this Semperica Trio, and this is for flea and tick medication, and this is for the next six months. Um, that's a six month supply. And it's only one thing, so she doesn't have to take the next guard and Sentinel, which she has, which is like two separate things, which she didn't like to take two, two separates. So instead, this is the flea and tick all in one, which is good. And oh, we also had some reward points. So my total today was okay, yeah. So my total today was $399.27. And I just want to tell you guys that having a dog is very expensive. So if you guys don't have dog insurance that covers these costs, then 
this is kind of what you're going to be looking at for an annual exam so i would save maybe like 400 dollars a year in case you don't have any accidents or anything because our i think our coverage only covers accidents and illnesses so i don't know if they actually cover any of this stuff obviously i'm still going to put a claim in and see but if not then i mean i'm not really expecting it to um maybe next year i'll get an insurance that covers like the annual exam and stuff but yeah it is kind of pricey if we're just paying out of pocket so just wanted to let you guys know that um but yeah she did really good here she is in the back Layla you did so good mama they said you look perfect they said you look perfect they said she looks so good so we're happy and we're headed home now oh actually we need to go to spotted pile so we can get her um her food so yeah let's do that since we already have her spotted paw from the pet store and they didn't have what I needed um, they said that the groomer has been out and they're looking for a new one so they don't have any revenue to get anything they honestly didn't have anything on their shelves like at all so um, I just decided to support their business and get some treats so I just got some bully sticks of course because you know Layla loves bully sticks so I got like four I got like four of these bully sticks did I get four yeah I got four of them and I also got two of these beef sticks right here so yeah I just decided to support their business anyways um, even though they didn't have what I needed um, obviously I went in there for the Stella and Chewy meal mixers get down Obviously, I went in there for the Stella and Chewy meal mixers, but I guess I'm going to have to order them on Chewy, which is okay. Um, we still need to feed her, so I'm going to show you the food that I use. We are using dry food right now just to save a bunch of time and to make sure she's getting all the nutrients she needs. We've been using a really good dry food called Signature, and it was the dry food that the local store actually recommended to me and she loves it she especially loves the kangaroo kind so i'm okay with that but we usually put in the meal mixer still just to like entice her to eat and then type top it with like some coconut oil or some olive oil just to make it a little bit tastier but right now we just have olive oil and the food so that's what we're gonna give her um but i'm gonna get out the food and show you what it looks like we get the big bag this is the signature food this is what it looks like I don't know if you guys can tell yeah we get the kangaroo one and this is the one that she really loves we also have a lamb bag and a turkey bag in there and she doesn't really care for them especially not the turkey the lamb she'll tolerate especially if i put it in her little ball this is her eating ball she loves to like eat meals out of here so if she's not eating the food from her bowl she'll actually eat it from here which is weird so i think she just likes puzzle games um so with this you just put the food in here and you can either just put this top on and leave it as is or make it a little challenging and put um this in so she'll have to get it through this star hole here and then get it through this hole here which is what we usually do now because she's already mastered without the um without the orange part 
So yeah, we'll use this ball if she's not eating her food um, and she'll really be entertained and it's like a puzzle for her so it's fun and she'll get hungry and actually eat the food. But if we just put it in her bowl, um, this is the this is the food that we use. It is in the kangaroo. They have a bunch of different flavors. We had salmon before which she actually likes that one too and kangaroo is her favorite. Um, this is probably like her second or third bag of the kangaroo. And um, I haven't gotten another salmon because I wanted to try the lamb and the turkey. Because um, we're just trying to see what she likes so she doesn't have to eat the same thing all the time. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Layla, want a bully stick? Want a bully stick? Hmm? Yeah? It's like, of course I want that. Is it any good? All right, y'all, I forgot to end the vlog. Layla has just been sleep slash eating her bully stick from, she's been like knocked out from the shots, but she recently woke up and started chewing that bully stick again. So here she is. We just wanted to say bye and end the vlog properly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want more content like this, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye. Mwah. <laughs>